Alton. Do new products. All right, Lady Ada. Yeah. New Hello. products. I'm ready to do it's them. We don't have a time. lot of new products. But, yeah, we got but, three things. But they count. Yeah, we got three things. Okay. All right. The first thing is. Bitcoin badge. This is what a Bitcoin actually is. People keep asking what's a Bitcoin. And we not, go to I, restaurants and we just put this down with our bill and we're like, it's taken care of, right? Yeah. One so, Bitcoin. Yeah, so this is, a, cover it. this is a Bitcoin badge. These are just like uh, a, lo a lot of the other Adafruit badges. Let These me, are really uh, nice. Yeah, let's put on the overhead. I'm trying to figure out some overhead stuff tonight. Okay, so Bitcoin badge. It's a little uh, slow, but you yeah. can see it. Bitcoin. It's got that nice little Bitcoin logo. It's iron on. It's kind of gold and glossy. Uh, it looks just like a real Bitcoin. Yeah. I don't know. If you like Bitcoin, you want to show it off, get a Bitcoin badge. Yeah. We have so, some stickers for people who yeah. want something less So, sellable. yeah, one thing about our badges, I wanted to talk about this. So these are made in the USA. Um, we could get these made elsewhere around the world for a lot cheaper, but they would be not as good quality. And who They've knows? They've been made in New Jersey. And how know, yeah, who, how know, who knows how they would be made? Um, so these are made in New Jersey by a family-owned company named Ambro Manufacturing, and the whole facility is solar powered, and they use um, all non-toxic inks, threads, um, to uh, just have a better environmental impact. So, and because we take Bitcoin, you can buy this with 0 .0001 yeah. Bitcoin, whatever the smallest percentage of Bitcoin you can divide out. Yeah. You can buy Bitcoin badges with Bitcoins. Yeah. Spend and, them now before they're worth nothing. And, and the idea behind the skill badges that we had is there's a lot of modern skills that the current scouting organizations probably won't adopt. Um, the Girl Scouts are uh, moving right along very fast. They're, they're getting computer science and stuff yeah. in there. The, the Boy Scouts, they have some uh, technology things, but what um, we've proposed is they should, uh, they, they're, free, they're free to, if they want, adopt some of our ideas for badges. So 3D printing, yeah. Python, you know, every, every young person's scouting dumpster organization, diving. dumpster diving. Every young person scouting organization That's can more have, useful than knots. Yeah, I don't use knots on a daily basis. Uh, laser cutting. These are, you know, modern skills um, that we think that would be really important. Um, these organizations are just focused on other things, I think. And maybe one day they'll cookies. have these things. Cookies and jamborees they and all that They should sell stuff. cookies for Bitcoin. I mean, yeah. like, well, that would be and really then, cool. And then recently there was an organization, Hacker Scouts, and um, the Boy Scouts actually said, don't call your thing Hacker yeah, Scouts. So we have our skill badges, and um, Bitcoin is one of them. Um, there's a lot of young people that used our tutorial for the Bitcoin miner, mined Bitcoins back when it was a little bit more lucrative to do it, and then they spent their Bitcoins at Adafruit because now we accept Bitcoin. So that's the story of Bitcoins. Yeah. Actually, did, uh, we're gonna, we'll post up this really cool uh, doggy coin tutorial next week, the which I really liked. One, yeah. Which is like, right. It's like Bitcoin without all the drama. Yeah. <laughs> all right, next up. Clips. What are, what are these, ladies? These are little silicone NeoPixel clips that they come from the factory that makes the NeoPixels. And if you go to the next photo, you can see how to use them. They just go over the NeoPixel, and you can use little screws, and you can attach them to, like, wood or, or plastic or fiberboard or whatever, and probably even thin metal. Uh, so you have some NeoPixel, and you don't want to glue them onto something. Um, this is a really great alternative. And you can slide them in and out of the clips. They're, they're rubbery and soft, so they can stretch. And um, so, yeah, oh, that's nice. You get a pack of five clips and then ten screws, and uh, very handy for when you want to attach your new pixel strips to something, like a tree. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next up, we have... This is the final ring. Well, no, this is the second final ring. Everybody asked for different size rings, and now we deliver. So You can't say we don't have all the littlest rings. We now have uh, 12 uh, rings. We started with 16 because that's exactly what would fit inside goggles. Also, 16 is a nice number. Uh, it's power of two. And then we moved up to 24, because people wanted to make like clock-type things, which had 24 pixels, or they just wanted something larger. And then this is a 12, so it's a little petite. Uh, it's not small enough to fit inside of the 16 uh, LED ring, but it'll fit inside the 24. And uh, it's just nice. It's a little mini ring. Might be good for like smaller jewelry, like if you want to make like a, the Gemma earrings, but you don't want something as big. And yeah. I can show it on the overhead. OK. Yeah, we're having. Well, nice. it'll glow. Yeah, that's nice. Right, I mean, you can see it. it's glowing. Yeah. It's cute. It's small. Uh, so it's Neo Pixels. You only need one um, uh, pin to control them, and you can chain as many as you want. And they run off of, you know, five ish volts, and they are bright as hell. A lot of yeah. people complain that they get, get blinded by these Neo Pixels because our photos, um, we show the color, we don't, so they're not blown out. But the trade off is uh, you don't see how bright they are. They're really, really bright. Yeah. Okay. 
All right. So that's the new pixel ring. And then what? Um, so what? A uh, couple questions that people had about yeah. these. Yeah. Uh, Ask questions about these rings. Back to the clips, real quick. Are those clips compatible with the non with non NeoPixel LED strips too? Uh, you can check the text technical details tab of the product. It tells you exactly how big the strip has to be. Yeah. They are designed for the NeoPixel strips that we have. It may or may not work with any other kind of yeah. strip. And then um, maybe we should uh, do a new photo um, of the 12, the 16, and the 24. Yeah, now that we have them, we can do a photo of yeah. all of them. And then would it be possible to do a, uh, um, a watch? With, yeah, with you can do a little watch. We did the 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 Flora, sorry the the Flora NeoPixel Ring watch with the GPS. You yeah. could use this as well. Um, it's small. You could also just use a Gemma and a little real time clock module. Yeah. And make Will the Gemma watch. fit inside of this? It won't or fit inside because the Gemma is about the same right size, behind. but it'll fit behind it. Uh, if it's right behind, yeah, so it'll flush it'll, it'll, it? it'll be basically the same size. Okay. It's a little bit it's a little bit smaller, but it's not. It won't fit inside of it. The Gemma fits perfectly inside the 16 LED ring, which you can look at yeah. if you look at our Gemma projects. It's like it fits like perfectly inside. Can it, can each LED be controlled uh, on or off? Yeah, yeah I just they're have fully, them, they're fully addressable. Each one has 24 bit color. I have them all on because yeah. it's kind of otherwise people are like, hey, does that LED not work? Uh, you can turn them on any color you want, and the code allows you to just address each one. Okay. You know, in, and in can your own. you change the brightness? Yeah, the library that um, Paint Your Dragon wrote has a brightness control. You can also just um, have the red, green, and blue component be smaller, or you can just change the full brightness of all of them. But a lot yeah. of people prefer to just have them full bright because yeah. they're like, you know, once you have LEDs, you're just like, you get drunk on LED power, and you're like, I want to brighten them huh. up as much as possible. How um, difficult would it be to do a um, NeoPixel matrix on a flexible PCB? Um, it's hard because um, the reason it's difficult is because um, flexible PCBs are flexible where they don't have copper. Where they do have copper, the copper has to be very thin. And so the copper can't pass a lot of current. And so it's neopixel matrices take a lot of current because they're not multiplex. So each LED can take up to 60 milliamps. It adds up really fast. Like our 8x8 uh, matrix plate, I think, can, can draw up to like three or four amps, which is kind of ridiculous. Um, even even at one amp, you know, uh, sort of standard usage or, or one and a half amps, passing that much through a flex PCB and having the copper be thin enough, it's a trade off of thin copper versus power draw. It's, I mean, it just wouldn't be that flexible. So yeah. I think a PCB is a better way to go. You can also just use the strips and tile them, and then you know you can just have strips and just sort of zigzag them, and that would be a little bit flexible. Um, but the strips, because they're only flexible in one dimension. Um, they can be thicker. They're, they're not very thin flex PCBs. They're flexible, but they're not that unflexible. OK, when the brightness is turned down on a NeoPixel, does that reduce the current? Yes. It's All true right. for any kind of LED. The less current you have, the dimmer it is. OK. All right. And with that? That was the new products of the year.